Miracle Boy Bags and ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of Bags. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Boxing, I'm your host, host and crews, and ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Got some interesting news here regarding Subriel Matias' next fight, homecoming fight in Puerto Rico, and what was supposed to be Matias versus Paro is no longer being Paro based on what I'm reading. I'll read it to you guys in a second. Based on what I've read, I bumped into a post saying that Matias and Paro fell off because Paro wanted more money than what he was offered. The, it was the, the amount of money that they offered him was not worth the was not worth the risk, and I understand that Matias is as dangerous as it gets and as it comes. So, you know, you're stepping in with a fighter that beats the holy hell out of his opponents, and we got one in a casket. Unfortunately, Maxime Dadashev, rest in peace. You know, you whatever they offered him, you know, he felt that he should have gotten more, and I don't blame him. Matias is very dangerous and, you know, he's nothing to play with. But it, this is what I got. Great to have him on board. Great to get that over the line. This is from Frank Smith under the zone. We're always, working, we're always looking to add brilliant fighters to the stable, and he's a special fighter. Special fighter. Aim for, the aim for us will be a homecoming fight in Puerto Rico for him, and I think that'll be a huge night. So we're just working through the, the details now of date for that and an opponent. With the zone, and we'll probably announce that in the next couple of weeks. I don't think it'll be Liam Paro. I know there was a lot online about it being Liam Paro, but I don't believe it'll be Liam Paro. We're working through the list of opponents now, and hopefully, some news soon. But yeah, it won't be him. So there you have it. We all thought it was going to be Liam Paro. You know, those are the talk. That's those were the talks, and now those were the news and the headlines out there. And it was looking pretty solid. Ninety percent done based on Wang Yurengo. The manager of Matia is saying, he's 90% done, it's going to be Liam Paro, he challenged us, we accepted, we want him. But something happened, like I said, it could have been the money, it could, be, it could have been money issues, that Liam Paro was not offered enough money to him, it was not worth the risk. So who it, who now is going to step up to Subria Matias, the boogeyman, who's going to step up to the boogeyman challenge? Um... Who's gonna solve the boogeyman challenge, man? No one has yet, and the le no one has yet because the guy that did it the first time he got shredded to pieces in the rematch. Matias was not in the best shape possible in that first fight, and he came back in the rematch and proved it. So with that being said, everyone Matias's face has Matias has stopped them, shred them to pieces, and um, in brutal fashion. So the list of opponents under match room, I got Devin Haney. I got Regis Prograce, Jack Catterall, and Richard Hitchison. Those are the top fighters on their match room at 140 pounds. Um, Jack Catterall is busy with Josh Taylor in a rematch. Richard Hitchison, he's got an opponent lined up. And he's actually he's going to be the mandatory after he fights, after his next fight. Um, the thing is, Richard Hitchison has already turned down a Matias fight. Because he doesn't want to go through the hydration clause, the I, and you know the IBF requires a rehydration clause, so he doesn't want to take the chance and risk and go through that and fight Subria Matias. He will fight anybody else, but as long as Matias holds the IBF title, he will not take the IBF route. That's what he said. Uh, Regis Progress ain't busy right now. I don't think he got an opponent lined up. They like they, like I you know they they looking an opponent they they are looking for an opponent it's not Liam Paro anymore so they're looking they're looking for an opponent and right now Ridges Progress is the only one on that list that's not busy he got beat by Devin Haney by unanimous decision back in December the fight is for June or July that's enough time for Ridges Progress to get in the gym get in shape for some Reason now in my gut because Devin Haney is busy, he's gonna be fighting Ryan Garcia coming up um, on April 20th. So, Regis Progress, I think, will be the opponent for Subria Matias in Puerto Rico. Whoo, what a fight! Stylistically, yeah, Regis Progress looked like crap against Devin Haney, but that's because maybe Devin Haney made him look like crap. 
but Regis Progray vs. Subria Matias is a solid fire fight. It's, and it was the fight to make when Regis was the WBC champion. You know, he was labeled as Regis was labeled as the boogeyman prior to losing Devin Haney. But you know, stars make fights, so Devin Haney went in there not going to slug with Regis and just completely outbox him, use his foot, use that jab, stay away. And he did it. So Regis Progress. And here's the thing with Regis Progress. When Matias was not champion and, Mat and Matias was calling ma calling him out, Regis Progress was not really paying him any attention. He even said that, okay, this guy's calling me out, but what belt does he have? When you got a belt, Matias, we can talk. Matias has a belt. Look how the tables are turned now. Progress doesn't have a belt. So I'm sure Progress um, wants what Matias have, and that is the title. That is the IBF title. I'm sure he won some championship gold. And um, the fight is still possible. Matias versus Progress is still a fight that can be made. And all the, out of all the fighters right now that I mentioned on this list, under Matro, Haney, Progress, Catterall, Hitcherson, the only one that's not busy and have a fight schedule is Progress. It's no longer going to be Liam Parrow, so Matias needs a dance partner. And for a sellout crowd... In Puerto Rico, I think Rage's Progress, Matias vs. Progress is going to get the job done. That's an elite fight for Matias. That's a big name. That's a top fighter at 140 pounds. One of the biggest names at 140 pounds. A solid 140. Strong, puncher. Um, pretty durable. Start make fights, man. Devin Haney made him look like crap, but that doesn't mean Matias is going to make him look like crap. Matias and Progress is a brutal firefight, man. It's a violent fight. It is one of the most violent fights at 140 pounds that can be made. It was violent on paper prior to Progress losing the WBC title, and it's still violent right now. So I'm hoping it's Regis Progress that they that they offer to that they that they send an offer to, and um. I'm hoping that's the opponent for Matias in Puerto Rico. Regis Progress. You know, everything in life is for a reason. Um, Progress no longer has the WBC belt. After getting out boxed by Haney. But he still has an opportunity now to still fight Matias. By challenging Matias for his IBF title. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, interesting news. Matias versus Paro is no longer happening. Matias is going to get a new opponent. We don't know who it is. But in my opinion and my gut feeling, I think it's gonna be Regis Progress. I don't know what I don't know what you guys think. Who is it gonna be? Haney's busy. Catterall is busy. Hitchison busy. He's busy and Progress not busy. So we'll see what happens. Um, Barbosa mentioned that he wants to fight Matias. Um, I don't know. We all know Eddie Hearn and Matias. They want Teofimo so bad, but you know. We doubt that Mate that Teofimo is going to accept the fight. Uh, you know, Teofimo is over at top rank, but Eddie Hearn and they, they, Eddie Hearn is definitely gonna, he's going to do whatever it takes to work a deal. You know, he's already give, he's already been giving Matias everything he he's already been giving Matias what he wants. You know, as first things first, as he signed as Matias signed his contract, this contract first things first, right out the gate, Matias gets a homecoming fight. He's able to. He's going to be able to defend his world title and fight in Puerto Rico for the first time in 2019. So what a start in fulfilling your contract. So Eddie Hearn has given Matias what he wants already. So I'm, going to, I'm sure he's going to give him a, uh, an excellent dance partner for that summer showdown. So for that summer hometown homecoming showdown in Puerto Rico. So who it is? Subria Matias versus. Progress, in my opinion, is likely to be progress. I'm hoping it is. We'll see. Miracle Boxing, I'm your host, Hosen Cruz. This is this is your host, Miracle Boxing. Um, Matias is getting a new opponent lined up. He's no longer Liam Paro. So we'll see. Announcement is expected in, in a couple weeks. In the next couple of weeks. So let's see what happens then. Miracle Boxing, I'm your host, Hosen Cruz. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. It's all better to talk together about boxing right here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.